Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving some packing tips for a two week trip ish if you're just going to be bringing a backpack or a carry on. I leave for Europe in two days and I'm super excited. So basically, I'm just going to be packing with you guys. Everything that is on this bed and I will be packing in this video is really what I'm going to be bringing for my two week trip. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming content as I travel from the US to France, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria. First, we're going to talk about equipment because choosing the right bag is super important when it comes to packing a lot of things in a compact little space so that way you can bring it as a carry-on. I'm super excited because for this trip I got a brand new backpack that I have not used yet so I'm excited to try it out and to share that with you guys. For the past five years or so I have been using this 40 liter mountain top like a backpacker backpack. Um, mustard yellow of course because yellow is my favorite color but I have nothing but great things to say about this backpack. It has been with me around the world. It's amazing. The only reason why I wanted to get a different backpack is because, you know, it's very long and very thin. So that means that everything that you're packing is stacking on top of each other. So when you're moving around constantly, as you do as a backpacker, you're just constantly digging through your backpack to find things rather than having it all laid out horizontally like this and you're just opening it up you'd be able to see all your clothes and find things a lot easier that's why i'm super excited to try out this bag um i'm not getting paid to say this i didn't get this bag for free i'm not promoting it anyway i don't want you to just buy this bag just because i have it if you think it's a great bag awesome but i'm just gonna kind of go through the reasons why i chose this bag so that way you can find the right bag for you first things first this still holds 40 liters so it holds the exact same amount of stuff as the backpacker backpack i just showed you the only difference is that it is shorter and thicker so instead of having something super long stacking on top of each other like i was saying you can open this bag horizontally almost like a suitcase so it's all laid out there for you and a lot easier to find things also for this bag i was looking for a lot more you know pockets and ways to organize things better instead of feeling like everything was in the main pocket um, so that's why again i really like this bag in the front we have just like a simple zipper you can put something really small or really flat um, after that you have another little zipper which I'm planning on putting like all my wires, electronics, chargers, all those kinds of things. After that it opens up to the laptop sleeve which again is really important because my last backpack didn't have a dedicated laptop sleeve and I want to make sure my laptop is hidden and it's protected so it's really nice. Then on the side we have this expandable water bottle holder which is really nice. I don't like paying for water bottles in airports. And then on the back, it's really nice too because you can unclip these backpack strings, put them inside of this little zipper pocket, and then all you're left with is this little strap that you can attach to a suitcase. Now opening it up to the inside, which again is the main reason why I bought this, it opens up sideways like a suitcase or like a duffel bag, even though it is a backpack. So as you open it up, it has that mesh zipper that a lot of suitcases have to hold all your undergarments and things like that. And then it also came with three packing cubes. Packing cubes are so nice and helping you keep organized, helping you pack a lot of things in a small space. And in a lot of backpacks, because you know they're not a perfectly square shape, you lose a lot of space when you actually use packing cubes. So it was really nice that this backpack is pretty square. And since these packing cubes came with it, they fit the backpack exactly. So there's no wasted space. So it comes with three packing cubes. The biggest one fits the entire bottom part of the bag. And then you have a medium one and a small one, which if you lay them next to each other, again, they fit the entire area of the bag perfectly, no wasted space. Of course, you don't need to get a backpack that comes with packing cubes. You can easily buy packing cubes on your own. The only reason, again, why I was looking for it is because they are custom made to fit this backpack. So there won't be any wasted space. Everything is perfectly fit and I can get as much stuff as possible into this bag. Moving on to tips when you're actually going to pack these things into whatever bag you've chosen. Number one is rolling your clothes. So I know most people know this by now, but it takes a lot less space to roll your clothes than it does to fold them and just put them into a packing cube or directly into your bag. Number two is to put all of the bigger or thicker things on the bottom and then work your way to the top with your thinner items. So again, that's why I like this, that the biggest packing cube is filling the bottom because that's where I'm gonna put all my thicker things, my thicker shorts, like denim, pants, maybe some jackets, anything that's a little bit thicker. And then in the smaller packing cubes is where I'm gonna put my tops, undergarments, things that are a lot thinner and smaller. And the third tip I have for you that's a game changer for my packing is planning out my outfits in advance. 
what I mean by this is not like day one I'm gonna wear this day two I'm gonna wear that but just knowing hey I'm gonna be gone for 12 days I need these 12 outfits and writing them down just so you know okay maybe I'm gonna wear this black tank top on you know two different days so I only need to bring that one tank top and just kind of writing it all out because then it really shows you like oh I don't even though I'm going for 12 days maybe I only need five shorts five shirts and a dress or whatever it is because I feel like when things aren't planned out in your head you don't have outfits specifically you know paired up or matched sometimes you just tend to overpack and pack so many things because you think oh this might go with this or this might go with that which is totally fine but when you don't have that much space it's better to just already know exactly what you're wearing these outfits go together and it's ready for you so everything that's laid out here on my bed is what I'm gonna be bringing with me like I said for two weeks in Europe I have four dresses three shorts one pair of pants two sleeping outfits, eight tops, seven socks, all my undergarments for all the days, toiletries, chargers, and one pair of sandals. I also already have my airport outfit laid out, which is, you know, sneakers, because those are big, yoga pants, a really thick t-shirt, and a shacket. So hopefully you know this by now, but just a reminder, wear your thickest, bulkiest items on the plane always, because Again, there's not that much space in your backpack. Might as well just be able to bring that with you still, but just wear it on the airplane. So now I've talked to you about my bag. I've talked to you about tips on how to pack. Let's go ahead and pack and see how much room we have left. all 40 liters of this awesome backpack to the top. I hope that you guys found this video helpful when thinking about what you need to look for when you find the perfect carry-on bag and also tips for packing effectively. So using the packing cubes, using the thicker rolled clothes on the bottom all the way to the thinner things, and then planning your outfits in advance. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in Paris.